Okay, Mike, what you got? So, uh, yesterday, we uh, daily, how'd that go? Daily went good. Uh, we had a couple of issues that we had to fix out in the field. Okay. Um, I didn't know that we were supposed to move the uh, client's speakers themselves. She had speakers on the wall okay. for the entertainment center. So we had to do a lot of tailoring and actually move the unit a little bit more off than originally was planned. But luckily there was enough speaker wire okay. in it to where we were able to, you know, to move the speakers to where they were inside the, the uh, whole entertainment center, stuff like that. So it turned out really good. You know, everything that we did, we talked with the client first, make sure it was okay. Yeah, yeah Tamara said there would be some wire management. I, don't, I guess she underestimated a little bit how much <laughs> yeah. we would have to do to accommodate yeah. the speakers. Yeah. Okay, Mike, what do we have today? Uh, actually, we have uh, Betty Lou. Betty think, Lou I, and Luke. I think that's uh, one of your and Tammy's jobs. Huh? Yeah. Sounds like an 80s rap Is her rap name band. Betty Lou? Hey, or is let it me just tell you what. Betty Lou and Luke. Dear, All dear I do do is says Betty Lou. Last name Betty is L-U. L-U, yes. Can you pass that down? So her name is Betty. Yeah, yeah. dear friends of mine that <laughs> I've known um, forever. Betty Lou now owns Dance Sport Virginia, who Tammy and I are associated with, Dance Studio. I know Dance Sport. I've got very, our, we had two of our I've got very parties. traumatizing memories of Dance Sport. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, that Christmas party. Where yes. Michael learned to do the waltz. Yeah. Everybody was trying to learn to do the waltz. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of feet got hurt that night. <laughs> There's on. a lot of ice packs. Let Dang, me just tell I you that. that. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad I came on that for yes. <laughs> That was before you. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. been I'm not a dancer. Oh, God, that's been quite a few years. That's ago. been yeah, probably 10 plus years, man. Yeah. 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 But anyhow, for Betty, Lou, and Luke, we're doing um, four spaces. We're doing a secondary closet. We're doing a laundry room, a large master, and a garage. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of material. A lot of material. There's a double jewelry drawer or a, a bank of drawers with, with jewelry inserts in it. Right. But other than that, you know, we've got the treated base in the garage. Right. I built it on a platform okay. um, with the top underneath of it so you can trim underneath so it have a, you know, a great look. Okay. Um, it's just a lot of work. And um, so, yeah, we've got everybody on that job. There so I want you guys to go out there, knock it out, okay. take care of, of Luke and Betty. And... Um, Tammy and I will be by if there are any questions about anything. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you all. Let's work <laughs> safe. Take care of Luke and Betty. Call me if there are any questions. All right, okay. sounds good. There, um, there, there. I designed it, so hopefully everything will go smooth. <laughs> Woo, okay. All right. All right. Hey, we know where to call then. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, thank you all. Everybody. ready. My name is Betty Liu. I'm here because the closet factory is installing some closets in my garage and my master bedroom closet and laundry room. I want my um, closet to rebuild and so I can find my stuff. Uh, if you've seen the before picture, you're going to see uh, <laughs> my closet is full of stuff and I can never find my stuff. And I know Jeff in this business for a long time. And uh, I finally think it's time for me not wasting time, always looking for stuff and get organized on my closet. So I asked Jeff to help me on that. I find out every average people probably stand, spend, you know, like one quarter of their time looking for stuff, you know. So I said, you know, uh, instead of wasting my time, I need to organize my stuff. And I know a uh, closet factory and they build closet and drawers and stuff that help you organize. And um, so I decided to do it, even though I thought it's going to be expensive, but the quality, you know, I'm getting, it's really worth it. And my time, you know, uh, after that, I would save a lot of time, you know.
Hey, good morning. We're over here at the Lou household uh, for a pretty involved install. The uh, showcase being the master closet that's going to go in. I think it's going to be really nice. Uh, she's really excited and uh, she teaches dance at Danceport, Virginia. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. I'm sure we're going to see some of those outfits and then... I think you're oh. going to get some free lessons out of it. So but I sure it hope should so. Help, it should help your sciatic nerve. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, that dirty dancing and all of them, they're going to have to eat their hearts out after this. Dude, that's what I like. Right. Let's go do it, bro. Yeah, I'll be ready for Dance with the Stars. <laughs> this is out of the closet handbook 101 right here, this job. It's got some uh, drawer um, storage areas and it's got some hanging, uh, some double and long hanging. So it's pretty much got any, anything you, you typically see in a closet this one's got it's just a, it's a big space but it's a walk-in closet so regular shelving and hanging sections so nothing nothing too far out of the box This one particular client, uh, we was doing another area in her house and I had to go pick up some shelves to bring back to the factory. And she wasn't gonna be home and so she just left the door unlocked for me. So I go in and they're doing this remodel so they have new carpet and stuff down. I had, it was summertime and I had on sandals. So and they had these great big huge golden lab that just loves me to death. Well they had a gate so the lab couldn't get upstairs where I was going. So I just kicked off my sandals there. I was like, I'm not gonna go up those stairs. I just kicked off my shoes, went upstairs to get the shelves. I come back down, set the shelves down, and the dog was mad at me because I wouldn't let her through the gate. So I was wondering when I came back downstairs, she was sort of slinking away from me, and I'm like, well, what's your problem? So I go to put my shoes on, I find one, I put it on, I'm like, well, where's my other shoe? And I'm there, and I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, where's my other shoe? And all of a sudden, I see on the floor these scraps of yellow. And I look, I'm like, what that dog chew up that's here on the floor? And I'm looking closer and I see more scraps of yellow. And I see these little rhinestones and I'm like, oh my God, the dog has eaten my shoe. I mean, there wasn't anything left. Not even the sole, I mean, it was just scraps there on the floor. <laughs> So I had to go barefoot the rest of the day. <laughs> so the dog, that's why the dog wouldn't get close to me because he knew he'd done something wrong, but he was mad at me for not letting him follow me upstairs. <laughs> so that was one of those things. And I was just glad that it was one of my cheaper pairs of shoes, not one of my good pairs of shoes. Cause then I'd really been mad at the dog. But people couldn't believe it. And I took it back and I said, here's my shoe, nothing. I mean, there wasn't even a soul. He ate the whole thing. By now, you're familiar with all the Closet Factory team players and how they contribute to the success of Closet Factory each and every day. But you probably didn't realize that they have a life outside of Closet Factory. So I'd like to introduce you to a new segment of our show, Behind Closet Doors. Hi, I'm Jacinta. Come on in, welcome to my home. Well, I'm Jacinta, like I said, and I've been working with Closet Factory for three years now. Um, but when I'm not working with Closet Factory, I'm busy being mom, and I also have a ministry called Overflow Ministries. Um, so I've, I'm always busy and have tons on my plate. Um, so it's important for me to also be organized. So I actually have two spaces in my house that I had organized, um, and I'd like to take you to see. Let's go check them out. Well, welcome to my welcome to my closet. <laughs> when I first moved in, this was absolutely horrible. It was the typical wire shelving um, and it was starting to fall down. I had been here, living here probably 10 years or so before I started working for the closet factory. So 
I was excited <laughs> about being able to transform this space. <laughs> so I pretty much just had to hang all my clothes in the back or on this backside here anyway. Um, so now this space is much more utilized. You'll be able to tell I've got tons of space for tons of shoes right here. Then I also have drawers in the back, tons of space for hanging. I even have a place for my jewelry. <laughs> so I can completely get dressed right here in my little space. I love it. So this was my space. Let's go check out the next one. Okay, well this is the second closet factory installation um, that I had in my house. This is my daughter's closet. She's got shelving for all of her shoes, so now they don't have to be jumbled up on the bottom of the floor, tucked in the closet. She also has a few extra drawers for storage um, above and beyond the drawers in her dresser. And my favorite, a hamper. So now she has absolutely no excuse to have clothes all over her floor because she's got a nice tilt hamper here and it only holds one week's worth of clothes for her. So it forces her to have to do laundry <laughs> every weekend, so, which is great. So once again, Closet Factory saves the day. <laughs> I've been in ministry for uh, over eight years now, and I, I started really pursuing a, a relationship with God uh, when I was in my early 20s. I accepted Him into my life as a teenager, um, but my parents didn't really go to church much. It was kind of off and on when I was growing up. But as soon as I got pregnant with my son, <laughs> which I was in my early 20s then, um, my senior year in college, that is when I said, okay, I, I gotta be a mom. <laughs> How in the world am I gonna do this? And that was actually what really um, launched me pursuing God on a more personal level and um, pursuing a more intimate relationship with Him because I felt like I needed help, you know, getting through life and I wanted to be the best mother that I could be. Um, so that's how it all started. And eventually, several years later, um, I, I came to the point where I somewhat inherited, if you will, Overflow Ministries. And we had a radio, we did lots of teaching and training um, at that time, workshops for the body of Christ. And Overflow Ministries' vision is to see believers connected with the true vine. Because there's a scripture that talks about um, the Son of God being the vine and we're the branches. And as we are connected to Him, that is, why we, that is how we bear much fruit that will end up glorifying God. And I've had the flexibility with the type of work that I do that has enabled me to actually really keep busy. And it actually helps me to keep continue ministering in a sense, if you will, because Closet Factory is all about going in and helping people. And at the foundation, that's what being a minister is, is meeting a need. <laughs> Whether it's a natural need, spiritual need, what have you, but as I'm working for Closet Factory, I'm always helping to meet a need because people um, you know, having chaos in their house or not having organization in their house. And so it's a blessing to me to actually be a blessing to others and to help them um, to transform their spaces and knowing that it's going to provide a better quality of life for them. Um, so it's enabled to kind of keep a flame lit, <laughs> even, you know, during a hard time. But now I'm, I'm really, you know, refocused and I'm simply, as you see, probably the sign, behind me, I'm um, really gonna be focused on becoming who I am, who God's created me to be. And I know that first and foremost, um, like I said, he told me that he, he created me to help to teach. Well, there's a snapshot of my life um, when I'm not working at Closet Factory um, and I'm doing ministry work. And I truly appreciate the fact that I do work for Closet Factory and that it allows me the income that I need and the flexibility that I need to be able to do things um, like this. Uh, that also bring joy to my heart um, and allow me to be who it is that, that God has created me to be. You can see this is a room that's going to be converted into a closet, so it's just going to be a very, very big uh, walk-in closet. Generally, when uh, the pieces come off the router, they get labeled with stickers. It generally helps us get a general overview of where the panels go, um, because the way the program numbers everything, it takes a room as you're walking in it, and it starts from the smallest number, which is panel number one, we'll start on your left, and it goes all the way around, however many panels there are. Like this one says 24, so I know it's gonna be somewhere 
at the end of the rotation of the of the panels of the room. So that's what that's what those stickers help for. Okay, here's the left. Goes here. Now we can start bringing up our locking shelves. I'm gonna start putting stuff together while he brings it up. That way we don't just have a bunch of material all over the place. Right here, you notice on the flooring, if you come around this side, that's gonna be exposed right there. So what I'm gonna do is go downstairs. They have some of this flooring downstairs. So what I'm gonna do is cut a piece that's gonna go under there. That way you don't see that because originally there was something else here that got, that got ripped out, but they have some extra flooring downstairs. So I'm gonna go grab me a patch and put that in before I keep before I keep building here. Go. This wall right here, it's got a it's just configured a little differently. It's got a little, it's got a panel in the middle. So, just gotta make sure I put the right shelves in the right spot there, because it takes the panel right there in the middle. And don't wanna do it twice, so just wanna make sure I got the right shelves in the right spot. This is an antique white shelf. This has a definite top and a bottom. The top is like that, which is usual, but on the bottom, the four corners are routed out for the chrome pins. This is called a non-sliding shelf. That way they sit on the pins, and if you grab or whatnot, they're not gonna come out of the, uh, the panels or anything. Now my uh, structures are pretty much set. Nothing's anchored yet. Um, just got the shelves basically put up. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a connecting shelf right here, and we'll put another connecting shelf right here that's just to kind of tie these two units in together um, that way it's got a continuous shelf across the top for storage uh, once i do that um, i put my level on everything um, get a nice get it nice and even and then i'll anchor it to the wall um, we should be able to start filling it uh, in right after that so it might already got all the drawers up here so we should be ready to start filling it in as soon as i get done with that closet factory way, the way we do things is that we're able to do everything in one day. Uh, the way that it's produced and the way that we install it actually out here in the field makes it a one day installation, which is really what sets us apart. industrial grade um, melamine, you know, it's not like the, if you see like the regular press board, it's like big chunks, you know, this is, if you look at like the grain on these, it's all very compressed, um, very fine, it's industrial grade, it's very, very strong, it'll never warp or bend, um, and it just holds up the moisture really well, just as long as it doesn't get on the untreated end. You know, I've, I've even had a salt water tank sitting on one of these, and that salt creep would come down, I would just wipe it off. And then you go to the yes, it's almost like a countertop. You could technically almost cut your vegetables off. <laughs> yeah. 
as you can see, this face is affixed to the drawer box too far this way. Yeah, my overhang over here is half inch, while over here it's a, like an inch and a sixteenth. The level of difficulty is a little high on this because of the way they choose to attach the faces now. Since we are too far away from the shop for them to correct this, we're able to correct it out here. This is especially fun when you're having like a really late day and you want it to be done, but then you gotta stop and fix this. All right, now with the face realign. There you go, that's more like it. Mike gave me a tube that he's had now, I think, since he started. And just like Michael, he's just dried up a little bit. All right, Betty, welcome to your new closet. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow. It's, it's like a new home. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a real dressing room. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me walk you around and show you okay. some of the things. So let's start here. Obviously, these are your hanging sections and you can move the rod anywhere you want. So if you want to put your ball gowns here or something shorter, you can just move the rod around. Then we have shelving. You could do, of course, shoes or anything that you thought of there, your purses. Mm -hmm. Then we've got more hanging. You've got so much hanging space, Betty. Yeah. You're gonna have to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so again, everything is adjustable. All you have to do when you move the rod, Betty, is just push it up. Oh, okay. okay. All right. And then move these cups wherever you want and put the rod back in. Yeah. Jeff said we can hang 200 some clothes. 200 and some garments, yeah. 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 And I know that was really important to you to increase that. It's so clean and pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Jeff designed this so I can have my ball gown hanging here. <laughs> so, Betty, this back wall full of hanging space, everything adjustable. And what's great for you is it's perfect for your ball gowns. <laughs> I know not every woman has ball gowns, but golly, don't you wish every woman could? Golly, it just works perfectly. I don't know if I'd want to put anything else in that section. And when you walk in every day, that's what you see. <laughs> Look like a, a shop. <laughs> yeah. Cool, very good. All right, now here we have cubbies and more shelving. This you could use for tall boots down here. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, so yeah. shoes, mm -hmm. yeah. And if you need more shelves, you just let us know. We okay. cut them for you and bring them in. Yeah. Then we have more hanging space in this corner. And this is my favorite wall, Betty. We have this section behind doors. Ooh. Right, yeah. right. So yeah. this is gonna keep everything protected. Plenty of space for sweaters, right? Yeah, everything that you need can fold it neatly and be able to see it. And what's great is if it's not neat, you just shut the doors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and here is your dresser. The dresser features this fantastic double-decker jewelry drawer. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Isn't yeah. that nice? Yeah. Now I can find my jewelry easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. I have one. I love it. And then, of course, more drawers for anything you want. This becomes a dressing room for you. So undergarments, um, everything can be in okay. here. Right. And then more. Um, shelving behind doors. Right. So nice. Cool. You like it? I love that. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything is bright and colorful and uh, I can start organize all my stuff. It's like a, coming to a new home. I can never find my stuff because they are hidden in two small drawers piled up. But now I can spread out 
and I can find them easily. I want to thank, you know, Closet Factory did a wonderful job and uh, highly recommend them to everybody. The master closet, that was, that looked really nice. That was a really great addition to the house. I mean, she's pleased and... From the outfit she's got going in there, man, it's, yeah. it's a lot of stuff. I wish you did try to try them on, though, I mean. Well, you did try that one on. It looked, it, it still fit. It didn't work, it didn't work for my waist. Yeah, so no. Came. Yeah, kind of... All right, man. Left you Next one. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> Does it make you feel like dancing? Oh, sure. <laughs> Let's get some partners. Okay. Hey, one on the mic. Did somebody say partners? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's count us out. Let's go. Let's go. I'm low. 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 I'm low.